ऐप आई डी ओके ऐप आई डी वट इज एप आई डी गाइज एप आई डी इट मीन्स एप्लीकेशन आई डी एप्लीकेशन आइडेंटिफिकेशन वट डज इट मीन एप्लीकेशन आइडेंटिफिकेशन आई गिव यू सम रफ आइडिया आई गिव यू वन नॉट वन मल्टीपल uh you know it has a very unique features actually okay so as the name we we are uh, seeing that it's a application identification means it is doing some kind of a layer 7 ins inspection right it's doing some kind of a layer 7 inspection according to the name application yeah. okay so it will in application identification it means it is identify the application okay it is doing some kind of a deep packet inspection okay it is doing some kind of a deep packet inspection and it is finding it is checking the uh, you know it is actually identify identify the correct application we will see what is the meaning of correct application okay so as per the you know uh, name application is what we know application is a services right application is a services okay so we are learning about the services which is actually checking at the layer 7 that's application is what we know application is a services right application is a services okay so we are learning about the services which is actually checking at the layer 7 that's the features of a application identification is actually a features of of the palo alto firewall which actually identify the application at the layer 7 it is doing a deep packet inspection at the layer 7 so just now uh, it has a multiple features but i am giving one simple example okay let me explain okay so like uh, uh, um, sorry so app id is actually what it does app id is actually helps okay to identify the legitimate application okay legitimate application so app id is actually helps to identify the legitimate application okay and block the bogus application and block the bogus means we know right some kind of malicious stuff bogus application so it is actually identify the legitimate application and it is uh, block the it, it will allow the legitimate one and block the bogus one so that kind of th uh, thing are we, we are going to see that okay so just like i'm i'm giving one example like uh, uh, we know that uh, you um, uh, what is dns okay so dns is using a port number 53 right okay even even like guys we have a open a one uh, rule that source is source is guys source ip is suppose 10.0.0.1 destination is any like it's going to the internet okay any means going to the internet okay and i have open the ports dns like dns is what it's using a port 53 okay so if if you want to uh, write 53 as well or dns as well let it be okay and it is allowed okay it means this you this user whenever want to go internet on the port 53 okay it is allowed actually okay okay we got it this suppose guys in the same guy okay this is the user he try to access torrent okay torrent torrent is actually we know it's a some kind of a malicious stuff where we can download and upload whatever things okay so torrent is actually also using a port 53 okay guys so if your device if your firewall is a dumb firewall and it doesn't have a app id level of uh, you know stuffs to check actually what it does this guy if the, i am allowed for the port dns it will easily access the torrent as well because torrent is also using a port 53 okay it can easily access it but due to the help of app id app id is actually identify the correct dns port okay how we can see that later on it can actually identify the correct dns port and it can allow the using a legitimate dns port but it will block it if he want to access the any kind of a bogus website which is actually working on the port 53 that is going to be blocked how it is going to be blocked so app id is actually has a signature okay app id has the signatures okay has a signatures of application it has a 
signatures of all the application not all around more than 3000 we will see how much more than 3000 application okay so it has a more than it has a signatures of more than 3000 applications okay guys so out of these 3000 only it can identify and do the deep packet or layer 7 uh, application test whatever layer 7 inspection of the this 3000 uh, application only and that is enough actually 3000 is very much enough okay anyway we will see okay and so behalf of this signature what would we can even you know if there would be a more application one more thing if there is a, any new application came any new application signature update would come any new application signature update would come update would come okay what we can do we can download it we will get the notification of the firewall and we can download the we can download that signature of the application we can do that okay there is a feature uh, in, in this firewall so that's how if there would be any new kind of application would come so that signature even we can download it okay this is the one thing and the second thing okay so second thing on the behalf of application signature my firewall is identifying okay identify the applications okay so guys uh, we can do multiple things we can play with the application signature and that is going to be very crucial if you are to become a palo alto engineer okay we will see that how app id is going to play a very important role okay for restricting a traffic okay is going to be is going to be play a very important role for restricting a traffic guys okay so what kind of stuffs we can do uh, just i'm giving a one simple example then we can see that like guys if, if um, i want to allow for one user there is a one user okay whatever the user i want to allow the facebook for him facebook.com i want to allow them go and get access okay that's fine i have allowed it but the main thing is that i want to allow facebook.com but i don't want him to chat with anyone like i want to i have allowed the facebook.com but i want to block chat even if he want to do any kind of a posting right we know post right if you want to do any kind of post okay that is also blocked we will see how we can do that so with the help of app id we can do such kind of stuff even we can allow someone youtube.com okay we can allow youtube.com but what we can do we can play uh, we can do a restriction that he would able to visit youtube.com but he would not able to see any videos he would not able to see any videos right if you try to play any video it's not going to be work that is blocked okay so streaming of a video is blocked we can do multiple things even at the twitter someone using the twitter okay so he can able to access the tutor that's fine but he won't be able to chat with anyone he won't be able to post anything nothing he can't able to do any any kind of a tweet but he can read it any kind of a tweets he, he can he want to scroll the tweets whatever or facebook he want to scroll he can but chatting posting it, it, it's actually disabled okay it's it's actually disabled so those kind of stuffs we can do it and even guys we can test it also okay let's see let's see how we can do okay come to the firewall looks like interesting traffic uh it's not traffic what am i interesting topic And the devices come up. Okay, guys. So uh, first thing I want to show, go to the device. Okay. So actually, I will not able to sh see uh, show you anything. Why? Because this firewall doesn't have a license. But anyway, where we can see that we need to go to the device and go to the. dynamic updates okay that there is a options actually we are not able to see that if any kind of a new version of application signature would come we will able to view here okay and we can upload it check now if i press the check now it will just connect with the internet 
try to get the any kinds of update would be there for the application ID. Okay. And if I want to upload those signatures, we can do that. Even install, if you have a, some, uh, some signatures of a file, uh, you know, uh, if you have a file for that, you can install from the file. So Hello. those kind of things, that's how we can actually upload the signatures, but actually we don't have a license of this uh, uh, OS. So we are not able to view that, but in the real time, you will see that. Okay. So leave it that part, come to the objects. No need actually guys. Okay. Leave it. Everything is there here. Everything is there. Okay. So as you asking the questions about, you can see that three, two, five, three matching applications. So actually my firewall in the, in this, my firewall engine has a three, two, five, three application signature actually. Okay. It has a signature of three, two, five, three applications. Okay. That's fine. If any kind of a new would come, we will go and download it at the device tab dynamic update. Okay. No need. So guys here, what I want to show that for the application application tab. Okay. Into the ob objects, go to the application tab. We will see some kind of applications. So there is the first thing. Okay. We can see the category here, guys. We need to learn the categories. So guys, just, uh, you know, remind that if you guys know that we have learned the category somewhere else. Okay. URL field thing. Okay. So there was a gambling, some kind of a, you know, hacking malware, lots of categories are there, but those category was actually for the websites category guys, website categories. Okay. Don't be confused. These categories are actually belongs to the services or applications guys. Got my point. Okay. So come to the application. We can see there are four things. Okay. There are four different things are there. Let me explain. So this is the category guys. If you see the category, we can see there are six types of category. Okay. What is this six types of category? We will see later on how we can, you know, segregate those. But first, uh, let me explain what is category. You see that the category types, I can see the business system, collaboration, general internet, media, networking, and unknown. So in the business system, we can see one, two, seven, six. It means there is a one, two, seven, six applications are there, which is belongs to business systems category. There is a six thirty six applications belongs to collaboration. There is five one zero application belongs to general internet, and three twenty three belongs to media. Five zero four belongs to network. That is fine. Okay, if you select and then th this is a category, and th there is a sub category. Like if any kind of like if I select collaboration, collaboration is means what? If I select collaboration. Okay, just I select collaboration, whatever the subcategory are there, it came here. Once I select in the collaboration, there are emails. Okay, email is a part of a collaboration. Instant messaging is a part of collaboration. Internet conferencing is a part of collaboration. Social business is a part of collaboration. Social networking even like a Facebook stuffs is a part of collaboration. Web video, web posting, web posting even. Okay, is a part of a collaboration. Okay, guys. So that's how we can identify that. That's how we can identify the category and subcategory. Even if you want to select general internet. Okay. Like, let me only just select the general internet. So in the general internet, I, I could see file sharing and internet utility. For file sharing, there are 351 applications. For, uh, and if you want to know, like if, if I click on, like, see that. General internet and I have just selected a file sharing. So there would be 351 application where we can view that. See that the below. These are the 351 uh, application. Those are actually part of file sharing. Okay, guys. If you scroll below, you will see. Forcing, Axilion, 51.com, Adobe Cloud, Adobe Connection, Adobe, whatever it is. Okay. So those are the application is actually belongs to this file sharing. Okay. So let me unselect it. Okay, if I go for the collaboration and just check for the social networking, there is a 130 application belongs to the social net networking. Blackboard, Collaborate, Blind, Bubbly, China Lane, whatever, whatever, China Rain, okay, Classing, Classmates, Clubbox. Okay, Facebook, you can see that Facebook, Facebook app, base code, posting rooms, multiple things. Okay. Flixster, Flixwagon, whatever it is, those are actually belongs to. Social networking for the web. If you want to view that, you can even see the web web as well. Okay. 
VOIP like uh, Gmail video call, Gmail chat. Okay, so those are lots of things are there. Okay, so now we know that what is category and what is the sub category of the application. Okay, we come to know. Okay, then there is a risk, guys. Okay, so even out of these, there is a risk of the. What is this risk actually? This risk is actually belongs to the showing the risk of application. If any kind of a risk, any kind of one minute, guys. So if a, any kind of a application which has a risk, you will able to view here actually. Okay. So lower risk is a. It means one number is a lower number is a lower risk and the highest number is a higher risk. Okay. So we will see the part of risk tagging. We know that it will tagging like interface boy. VoIP, G Suit, just a tag, Palo Tornado, it's just a tag, nothing else. And guys, characteristics. We will learn about the characteristics, okay? Here only. Okay. So come to guys. So now we are aware of category, subcategory, risk, tag, characteristic. Also, we will see the characteristics later on. So like I am going to type Skype. Okay. Just type Skype at the search and click here. Search. So we will see. There is a, it's part of a collaboration. Skype is actually part of the collaboration and subcategory is VoIP and the risk is what guys? Even, even two, even five, five as well. You can see that for the Skype is belong to the category collaboration. Subcategory belongs to web video. Risk is five and tag is what web app. It is belongs to web app and dynamic. What is standard port? We will see that it means it's a risky. Okay. Anyway, that's fine. Let me open the that application. If I want to open any uh, application, just click on it. Once I click on it, so here I'm going to view the all the stuffs about the that particular application. So it's a name. What is the name? Skype. Okay. What is standard ports? So there actually guys see that their standard ports are not defined. They are using a TCP and UDP. Both are dynamic. It means it is using any dynamic port, right? Any dynamic port actually it is using. Port is not defined. So that's why if any application which is which port is not defined, that is actually a risky. So that's why they have put Skype in the risky five. Risk is five. Got my point here? So it's vulnerable actually, right? It's a risky. Anyway, and so this is the second point. The third point is depend on. Guys, we need to understand what is depend on. Depend on means what if you are allowing the like if you are allowing uh, like any user came and he want you to that particular user want to get a Skype access. Okay, so like I have created one access list like a policy and I have only in the application I have allowed Skype. That is not going to work actually. Why? Because just need to understand for allowing Skype. I need to also some application which is it depends actually. See that depends on. So that is very important. We need if I only allow Skype, it is not going to work. We need to allow uh, allow that that also some application which is actually Skype is depends on. So like Office three three sixty five consumer access SSL stun. I don't know what is what is stun. Web socket Windows Azure base. So these are the actually application this Skype depends on. So that's how we need to get the, you know, if you're allowing some application and the, and the user will complain that it is not working. So we need to, we need to come here and check that whether is uh, that particular application has some kind of a dependency of other application. If there is a yes, we need to also allow those. Okay, guys, make sure. And there is a one thing implicitly uses. What is the meaning of implicitly uses here? It means nothing. It is like Skype is forcefully implicitly using means. It's forcefully using this web browsing, this application. It is forcefully using web browsing. That's it. This is the meaning of implicitly using, like this Skype application, forcefully using web browsing. Forcefully. Okay. So if you find any kind of a application detail in the implicitly use, it means that application forcefully using that particular application. This is the meaning. Okay. Additional information you can find at the Wikipedia, Google, even at the Yahoo. Even see that this uh, what is the description? Skype is an application. What the what is actually Skype is all the information you can find at the description. That is not much important. Okay, now come to the characteristic, guys. Okay, so what is the meaning of characteristics? There is some option evasive. What is evasive means, guys? Evasive means what? It means what? Like here uh, we have seen that if any application 
whatever the any uh, like skype is uh, evasive means so if evasive is yes it means it is keep changing its port any application if it is changing its port it means you will see that evasive should be yes if it is yes means it is this port is not whatever the application port is there it is not static it is it is dynamic actually it is using multiple ports okay so that is the meaning of evasive we will see some other options as well application as well okay access bandwidth what is the access bandwidth used so in the access bandwidth use it is mentioned yes it means what note it down guys if any of the application if it is mentioned yes it means the one thing like in the accessing like any of, of the application like skype okay if any of the application is using more than 1 mb of data more than 1 mb of data you will see the yes at excessive bandwidth okay excessive bandwidth okay if any kind of application using less amount of uh, data less of 1 mb of data you will see at the excessive bandwidth no what my point so actually 1 mb is a threshold which is actually defined if any application using more than 1 mb so you will see at the excessive bandwidth yes if any application using less than 1 mb you will see excessive bandwidth as a no that is not more important but we need to know that okay used by malware if any any malware can be used in this traffic yes it's a vulnerable traffic yes because its port are not you know uh, static could be but this is the by default you know information it can be used by the malware capable of file transfer yes this application is actually capable of file transfer has known vulnerabilities this application has some kind of vulnerabilities yes so these are the characteristics information we can find it here okay tunnels other application like uh, if someone using the skype and it can be tunnel some other application as well no fine prone to misuse it means it is it is prone to misuse someone can misuse this application yeah. yes yeah. widely used it is widely used yes and sas sas as a, a cloud stuff software uh, yeah okay it's so sas is what it's a cloud based application it can be used at the cloud okay yes okay what is the classification guys classification in the category it is falling in the category which category collaboration sub category is what web video that's fine risk is five so there's uh, those are the information are there even at the options guys these are the these are not by default if you want to put a uh, session timeout it, that is 30 seconds sessions time out a tcp timeout 3600 okay seconds udp timeout value tcp half close these are the actually the by default value app id enable yes but if you want to customize it you can actually session timeout if you want to give those are in the seconds if you want to increase or decrease you can do that okay then this is for the sas characteristic okay certification soc isoc okay sas software as a system okay it is used as a cloud data breach no ip based restriction yes so poor financial viability poor terms of service no these are for the sas characteristics not important but these are important okay these are the by default if you want to keep it like this that's fine the main important is that we need to find out okay which are the you know uh application they are depends on so that is very much important if you're allowing sky we need to allow we need to allow the dependence application as well okay so let's see some other uh you know let's close it evasive means what we will see that even in the second option you can see evasive means like if skype is using uh like if you're using a uh, https https is using only only one port 443 okay it is not using any other port it is only using 443 so that is in the evasive it is no because it is using only one port if any kind of application which is actually using a multiple ports like uh, 222 333 444 in the one connection it is using multiple ports we are able to see there standard ports dynamic port is dynamic port is not not static like if you're if you see for the ssh it should be right 22 right tcp 22 22 is using by the ssh so there you will see the ebs as a no but that is dynamic means what it is using it could be the any port their port is not defined 
so that's why it is evasive is no like in the connection of this uh, skype it could be used multiple ports mean what multiple services it is using multiple services so that's why it is using it is uh, mentioned here yes okay it is not using only single port it is using it could be a multiple port we will see on some other example okay like i'm um, open a ssh okay let's search here ssh search see that guy ssh okay you open it you'll understand here so ssh standard port is what guys tcp 22 there in the skype it was tcp dynamic that port was not defined but the, for the ssh the port is defined any depends application no no need to uh, open any other okay it is not dependent. implicitly used no it is not implicitly used any kind of other application this is the information okay evasive see that for its evasive is no if it is using some other ports as well dynamic ports that going to be evasive should be yes okay excessive bandwidth no used by malware yes could be like ssh1 is actually compromised ssh2 is not actually we know that right capable of file transfer yes known vulnerabilities yes okay so these are the it belongs to the category networking subcategory encrypted tunnel risk is four it's not five but risk is four yeah fine so these are the in, like information we can see that Guys, there is a one more thing I want to explain. Okay, there is a one. Let me find what I have written. Okay, www dot. There is a uh, applypedia. Applypedia dot com. So, guys, please note it down. This website, applypedia dot com. Okay. Applepedia Palo Alto. Instead of going direct website, okay, see that this is it. Okay, applepedia dot palo alto networks dot com. Okay, so let me chat with everyone. Okay, note it down. So, what is actually, guys? It, it it's a Palo Alto, you know, uh, uh, web, website that is for the Applepedia means what? Like a Wikipedia. So, the Apple means what? Application Pedia, some kind of stuff. So, there is actually, guys, if some if if like if you want to look for a app information about the application, like if if someone would not mention here, could be, guys. Okay, so then we can view all the information here, like Skype only. Okay, I'm searching Skype only. Okay, just type Skype. So we will see all the information. Skype. Okay, this is it, Skype. Okay. So whatever the information, guys, there, if you are not able to find there, we will able to view all the information here. Okay. These are the descriptions, reference, dependent. So actually, we need to look for the depends on application that is very more, much important actually as i explained that if you're allowing skype that is not going to be work we need to also allow where this application skype is depends on so there those applications also need to be allowed actually okay so if you allow some kind of application which is not working and you don't know any information that whether that particular application is actually depends on some other application we can view those information at this websites okay Implicit use application, web browsing, characteristics, SAS, VoIP, risky, standard post, TCP dynamic, EBSC, VS, all the information, whatever we have seen here, the same information we are able to see. So that is actually a very much important uh, website. Okay, note it down, it's going to use. Okay, so that's what all the information of the application, guys. Okay, so, so let's see, we can create something. Okay, okay. So let's come guys and create some policy. Okay. 
so we have a policy okay and we know that my in this topology this guy has a internet access okay 176.1.1 okay let's open it so this t capital so guys actually uh, this one has a internet access we know that see that facebook is coming anyone have a fake facebook username and password we can check actually you guys can check it right so like i'm going to create one policy and like okay so just create facebook chat blog policy okay give the source ip we know that so source ip suppose belongs to the zone yeah i know that it belongs to the inside and address let me give the same address 172.16.1.1 so that is my ip okay that, that this is ip of this pc where you want to go so it's going to the any just keep it any because it's going to the outside put the any okay that's fine come to the application guys okay at the application type facebook so i see that if someone like that that particular pc has already access of a facebook if i select facebook chat okay if i select facebook post posting file sharing whatever even you don't want to go for a video calling facebook video calling you don't want that someone can use voice message video like there is a calling whatsapp so video calling voice call whatever like i also want that this should not use whatsapp okay it's whatsapp is there okay so whatsapp base okay whatsapp base it, it would be everything in the base if you type facebook base it's going to block all whatsapp okay there's one more thing guys let me uh you know okay keep it like this okay what's up base and uh, service is okay action guys i want to block it i don't want i just want to drop it okay deny let me uh, just uh, type okay okay that policy is create but but guys that policy if i'll commit it is this policy going to be work if i commit it is this policy going to be work guys like uh, if this user want to access facebook.com or uh, whatsapp so we need to make it in top okay because in the above there is a one allow policies by default allow policies there so we need to make it on the top because firewall checking the top to our bottom okay i want to block one more things like come to the objects there is one more thing like i want to go to the general not file sharing uh instant messaging instant messaging guys i also want to block instant messaging okay instant messaging even the internet conferencing this too i want to block internet conferencing instant or instant messaging okay for the instant messaging what are the stuffs are there you can find out baidu you know see that baidu is what baidu is a china twitter okay now come to the policy i'm i'm taking uh, your example as well so come to this policy and i'm going to block full instant messaging okay instead of for instead of going for a specific applications i am going to block up full come to that and sub category okay just type instant messaging just type instant messaging see that uh, is there if it is not there see that it's not there right instant messaging is not there so how how we can do that i want to block all sub categories okay come here guys so there is a thing what we can do go to the objects there is one application group guys like object groups there is a application group okay this was i have created for my previous class so let me explain what is a uh, application group now so instead of going for the one by one okay uh, a specific application we can create a one application group like i have creating a name of the application group that's a name okay it could be anything and there guys in the one group i can i can put whatever the like instant messaging okay okay so category is not coming whatever the like skype 
I want to create whatever the application you want to put it here. Actually, you can do it. Okay, full Skype is there. Okay, I want to uh, type uh, Facebook. Okay, I want to I want to put. So, guys, make sure the base is whatever the Facebook base base is actually all chats and everything would be in the base. Base is the very much. It means if you allow base, it's going to be allow all the things. Okay, like I was also want to include YouTube. Okay, so YouTube base. YouTube based, like I also want to allow Google. Okay. Google base. Okay. Need to allow Google base. Okay. So that's how we can create a multiple application group, guys. Okay. Multiple multiple application group. We can create just like an object group. Okay. If you want to put that application group, see that. Okay. Like if I create a, some other group, like a other group anything the name would be and even i can bring that that application group as well this type application group which i have just created okay you will see that application group just created and if you want to add some more uh you know stuffs like ssh anything okay any other application individual so you can you can bring that okay something issues i don't know let me Check with it. Let me delete it. Let me bring it again. So come to the that application. Yes. Yeah. So that's how we can create. Even the we can call we can call in this group. Even we can call the object group as well. Okay. Like we can create. So see that if you in the other group, there is the two groups I have created. In the other group. I have, the member is two in the application. There's a member is four. These are the applications. There is a SSH and then groups. Even what if you added some other groups, you will get the information here. Groups. Okay. And application group is added here. So that's how we can even create a specific user based objects, object group, and even the application group as well. Okay. Now come to the application filter. What is application filter, which you are talking about? Okay. Let me delete. So application filter is what guys like I want to block the category based. Okay. So let, let's create just this is the name. We have seen that what is application group in the application group. We can, we can, you know, in the one group, we can create a group. We can put individual application, individual application. We can, we can put it even that particular group. Also, we can bring into the some other group. Okay. That's what. So likewise, and, uh, as someone has asked that, uh, how we can i want i don't want to uh, block some you know uh, specific uh, application like facebook google whatever it is i want to block full categories like we used to do at the url right so that things for blocking a full category we need to go to the application filter okay into the application filter go to that like i if you want to block full collaboration everything okay you need to select that what you want to block okay if you just See that guys, if I will just select the collaboration, everything, all the, so in the collaboration, there are, there are one, two, three, three, six, seven subcategory are there. So if, if email, instant messaging, internet conferencing, social business, social networking, web, web posting, whatever you want to allow or block, I don't know, whatever it is, it is going to be a part of this application filter. Whatever the group you have created this is going to be part of this group. Like I'm, I'm just. Give me the name. Don't be confused. Application filter group. Okay. Like as well, if I, instead of this is a category, I want to create a even sub category. Okay. In this uh, collaboration, I want to choose instead of seven, I want to choose only instant messaging. Okay. So like I have just selected instant messaging and let me type. Okay. So what happened? There is a one group created with the name application filter group. And there is a collab category, which is collaboration and sub is What instant messaging. Okay, what you need to do allow in the policy or block in the policy that we can do at the policy. But here, what we are doing, we are creating a category and subcategory based object group, right? Right. So we, we have created a category and subcategory based object group. Like I also want to uh, create a one more uh, application filter group. Okay, in the category based. Okay, and just give a name, give a name, just like guys. Okay. Give a name that uh, uh, any name suggest, guys. Just I, I want to block uh, 
all the conferencing and uh, all the instant messaging. I, um, so th for that reason, I want to create a one object uh, category based object group so like uh, chatting and conferencing. Okay, that's a name. Okay, chatting and conferencing group. So we know that the chatting and conferencing actually coming to the collaboration. Select collaboration and chatting is called instant messaging. Okay, select it. And even in internet conferencing, also I want to put in this group. Select it. If you want to bring some more uh, subcategory social network VoIP, you can you can just you need to just select it. Okay. If you even if you want to a special one, you can select it from here, guys. Right. If you want to, if you don't want to select all the subcategory, you want to just select one individual one, one or two. You can do that even. How much filter we can do that, guys? Just see that. Okay. So like I have created this, the chatting and conferencing. You can see that it's also belongs to the collaboration and instant messaging and internet conferencing. Two kinds of subcategory are there. Okay. Now come to the policy. Okay, and I come to that. Facebook chat blog policy, which I have created it. Go to the application and let's add that filter one. Okay. So chatting, something name was I have written a uh, chatting and conferencing something. Yeah, see that application filter. It's mentioned it's application filter. Okay. So that is chatting and conferencing. I have added instant messaging and conferencing into this. Okay. This two subcategory I have I have added it. Type okay. And let's commit it. Let's see if it's work or not. Whatever the application which is using instant messaging and internet conferencing, that actually I want to block. So I have created one deny rule and come to the application. Okay. And just go to add and type chat, chat Where it is chatting see that chatting and conferencing which the group i have created okay in the group i have created an action i have already given the deny okay i want that to the deny rule that is deny okay fine okay it's two times selected so guys see that chatting and conferencing facebook chat Facebook posting, Facebook voice, WhatsApp ways. If that PC will try to access those are the application that should not work actually. Okay. Let's okay. And then commit the change. Okay. So there is a one more hack. Actually, I want to let you know, guys, like while you committing that actually this, uh, uh, this one doesn't have uh, any kind of, uh, you know, uh, license for that. But if you are committing any kind of application, you need to validate first guys, make sure. If you validate it, you will get that if any kind of application like Skype has a, some kind of dependency application. So if that particular application has some kind of dependency, you are able to view that actually in, in the validation. Actually, you are able to view that. But here actually in this operating system, we will not see that because it doesn't have a license. But in the license version, if you try to before committing any kind of application based uh, policy, make sure to validate that. Okay, so you will just give the example uh, you will be able to see that that skype like skype is the application is actually has some kind of other app it depends on some other application we will see that that those depend application also need to be allowed that okay anyway let's commit it guys okay meanwhile while committing we know that this pc has access of internet and facebook okay okay we'll see that whether now it's working or not Taking time. It's ninety-eight percent. It should be done. Close. So in this uh, policy, I have Facebook chat, Facebook posting, Facebook voice, WhatsApp base, and chatting. But guys, I didn't block the Facebook. Facebook. If this guy want to access Facebook, if he want to get access, he will actually. Facebook, I didn't block it, guys. But if if anyone have a check with that, just log in with your Facebook credential and just try to chat with anyone. You won't be able to actually. That is blocked actually. But Facebook, you will get it. Why? Because Facebook is enabled, but you won't be able to get access for what and try for the WhatsApp. WhatsApp is blocked, right? 
whatsapp.com give me one moment guys okay so wave.whatsapp.com it should not work guys. see that this site can't be reached okay so this one is actually blocking by the firewall okay see that you won't be able to even if you try to log in some genesis genesis belong to guys conferencing okay if this spelling is correct and let's see it is opening but uh, that is belong to some kind of a internet conferencing some kind of a conferencing any kind of link actually going for the conferencing that should not work let's see i don't know the exact website for testing but anyway whatsapp is not working okay uh, these are okay let it be even if i want to block facebook.com we can do that okay so like we can see that okay this one is working in, like if even in the policy the facebook is working come to the policy and uh, like i want to block a full facebook okay i want to allow yeah so just see that guys this pc is actually have access of even google.com and facebook.com okay okay let's see we can create a policy and let's see block google base and just allow facebook facebook base type okay Okay. Meanwhile, let it be. Let's commit, guys. Let's wait for. Eight percent. Let's see. Come to this policy. Come to this firewall. Okay. Let close this and open some new cognitor see that guys so facebook is not working now okay what um, see that facebook is not working earlier it was working right google.com that is not working guys okay if i try to access yahoo should work Yahoo is working. See that? Okay, Yahoo is working, but Google is not working. Facebook is not working. Even web uh, WhatsApp would not working. Hundred percent. WhatsApp dot com, whatever it is. Actually, its website is something else. Web dot WhatsApp dot com. We we know that what's happening, guys. Here, one seven two sixteen one two hundred six zero eight nine. We have created some kind of a that rule, right? Okay, you guys don't know. I will explain later. See that if I go for proceed, it will ask for the login credential. See that. So that's the other things. Okay, it was I have I have explained in my previous class. That it will just don't follow it. So see that how we can block Facebook and Google and Yahoo is is enabled. Okay, so guys, in your practice, what you guys will do that uh, allow the Facebook, okay, but block the Facebook chat and Facebook posting, okay, allow the Facebook guys, okay, and just try to allow the Facebook and what you can do, uh, enable the uh, Facebook but block the Facebook chat and Facebook posting, and then guys uh, commit the policy and just try to log in from this PC to the internet to the Facebook.com, and if you have any login credentials because I, I don't want to use mine personal. 
Just log in your Facebook in any fake ID, log into your Facebook and try to do a chat or try to do a post something. You won't be able to. Okay. So that's how you can actually do a lab for that. Okay, guys.